Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to change out the water filter on an LG French door refrigerator. I'll put a picture of a specific model number in the corner, but this is a, uh, pretty much the same for a lot of these LG French door refrigerators. So your water filter is up here in the top left corner. And the first thing you're gonna do is uh, just push this tab on this side and the same side and it opens up the case. Now, one thing you'll notice is that this rotates down, it hits this shelf. And that's actually gonna uh, prevent you from being able to pull the water filter out um, all the way down. So if you have something on this shelf, you're gonna have to remove it and uh, get this shelf out of the way. So let me do that real quick and then I'll show you how to do the rest. All right, so I got my shelf moved so we can have uh, the case fully open. And I'll go ahead and put a, some paper towels down because um, it will leak a little bit when you pull out the filter. So once again, we'll just push our tabs, one on each side, and that cover will pop all the way out this time. And then uh, you have to take the filter and just push it down until it gets all the way down. And now we can remove it here. So we just grab it and pull it out. All right, so I got my old one I just took out. I've got my new one. Um, this is the aftermarket version from Amazon. I'll put the link below uh, to this one as well as the uh, OEM version. You can also get these as combination packs with the air filters if you want. Got my new one out of the packaging, um, got the plastic off it and there's a little lid that's on top that you have to pull off. So now we'll just put it back in. All you have to do is line up your tabs. Uh, it's like a little T. Line it up into the slot and press in. Once it's pressed in enough, you'll hear it kind of bottom out in there and you should be able to now just lift it back up into place. And then close your cover. The last thing you have to do is reset your um, filter light down there that says to replace filter. So this actually won't reset itself when you change the filter. Um, it's just a timer that goes off every six months or so to remind you to replace the filter. So you have to do it manually by yourself. Not hard at all, but sometimes people get a little tricked out by it. All you really have to do is push this uh, filter reset button and hold it for three seconds. And there you go. You've got your, um, reset, your replace filter light reset, and it'll be good to go for another six months or so. If that helped you out, let me know below. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next project.